Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, everybody. This is a fine day the Lord has made. You know, a lot of times we do not think that the lion is a blessing or even could be. But the name of this devotional today is The Blessing of the Lion, and it is showing us that things that come into our life, why would they be a blessing? We're not looking at them as a blessing. Well, because they can be an opportunity. That's why they can be a blessing. When we think of a lion, we think of something that destroys, that tears, that devours. But it's also an opportunity of the Lord for for us to let him show his power through us. Hallelujah. And there came a lion. Now, let's go to 1 Samuel 17, chapter 17. Now, the scripture the main scripture for this is 1 Samuel 17:34 And David said unto Saul Thy servant kept his father's sheep and there came a lion and a bear and took a lamb out of the flock Now David was the one watching over the sheep and the lion came and took a lamb and David took care of it That was the opportunity that arose. That God let there be that opportunity with that lion coming and taking that lamb out out of the flock to destroy it. That was David's opportunity to show forth God's mighty power. And that's exactly what happened. And David was not afraid. He went forth. Let's just go a little bit before this, and we're going to just read some of this. 1 Samuel 17, we'll read 32. Go on down through here. And David said to Saul, Now we know this is the account where the Philistine, the giant, the enemy, okay, And he was so big and tall and giant, nobody wanted to go out against him. They were afraid. And so the giant was doing what? Mocking. Because he knew that. He was too big. Everybody that had come up against him, he probably had killed. So they didn't want to go out there. So this is where it begins. And David said to Saul... Now, he's encouraging these guys. This this little guy is encouraging the others. And David said to Saul, Let no man's heart fail because of him. Because of who? Because of this Philistine, this giant, this enemy. Thy servant will go and fight with this Philistine. He wasn't afraid to do it. And Saul said to David, Thou art not able to go against this Philistine. To fight with him. For thou art but a youth. And he a man of war from his youth. Now that sounds like the guys that uh, went with Caleb and them. And they came back with a report. Boy did they ever. Oh they're so big. The giants are so big. We can't beat those guys. Joshua and Caleb said yeah. But we have God on our side. And that was David's view as well. But what does the world say? Oh, you can't, you're not able to do that. You're not able to do that. You're not able to go there, whatever. Mm hmm. And David said unto Saul, Thy servant kept his father's sheep, and there came a lion and a bear, and took a lamb out of the flock. And I went out. After him and smote him and delivered it out of his mouth. David took care of business. 
And when he arose against me, I caught him by his beard and smote him and slew him. Talking about the lion. Thy servant slew both the lion and the bear. And this uncircumcised Philistine shall be as one of them, seeing he hath defied the armies of the living God. Now, the Lord says in this end time, that will be a trait of his true people, is boldness in the day of judgment. David said, moreover, the Lord that delivered me out of the paw of the lion, who is he given credit to? For taking care of the bear and the lion. God. God's power through him. David said moreover. The Lord that delivered me out of the paw of the lion. And out of the paw of the bear. He will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. Wow. David. You got faith. This is the kind of faith we have to have. He will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said unto David, Go, and the Lord be with thee. Well, we also know the rest of the story, that he wanted to put all this heavy armor on David, all this stuff that he felt like David needed to protect himself or whatever. And David was like, Man, take this stuff off of me. I can't go with this. This is weighing me down. And what did the Lord have him do? Pick up five smooth stones and a slingshot. And God took aim as he put that stone in that slingshot and drew it back. God took aim. And considering God's aim is perfect, it hit the mark and down came the giant. Down came the Philistine. Hallelujah. This is such a lesson to us, y'all. It's such a lesson to us in believing and standing and being positive about our God will. Not maybe he will, but he will deliver. It is a source of of inspiration and strength to come in touch with the youthful David trusting God. I mean, he had no hesitation about it. None whatsoever. He just boom, boom, boom went forward in the power and the might and the boldness of the Lord God Almighty. Isn't that what holds us up so much of the time is our hesitation? And the things the enemy throws at us in fear or doubt or whatever, that we we spend time listening to it and considering it, and then wow, that's it's that's it. It starts affecting. It's a bad seed, and and we have allowed that bad seed to plant itself because we even took time to listen to anything the devil was saying. So then that seed starts to grow. And it's not good fruit that it bears at all. This is why when God says to do something, we see something needs to be taken care of. Boom, boom, boom. Without a hesitation. Without an earthly thought about it. It is a source of inspiration and strength to come in touch with the youthful David trusting God. Through faith in God, he conquered. I'm going to read that again, maybe several times. Through faith in God, he conquered. Through faith in God, he conquered. Through belief in God, he conquered. A lion and a bear. And afterwards overthrew the mighty Goliath. When that lion came to despoil that flock, it came as a wondrous opportunity to David. If he had failed or faltered, he would have missed God's opportunity for him. 
and probably would never have come to be God's chosen king of Israel. And there came a lion. We don't want to miss God's opportunities because his opportunities are stages and and advances into the mantle that he gives in this hour. One would not think that a lion was a special blessing from God. One would think that only an occasion of alarm, only an occasion for fear, for shrinking back. No. The lion was God's opportunity in disguise. Every difficulty that presents itself to us If we receive it in the right way, it's God's opportunity. Now, if we receive it in the wrong way and let the enemy bog us down with all his thoughts and feelings and all this stuff, then we've received it in the wrong way and the opportunity is lost. We need to receive these things in the right way. Every temptation that comes is God's opportunity. When the lion comes, recognize it as God's opportunity, no matter how rough the exterior. Now see, the Philistine, the giant, nobody else wanted to go after that guy. But David was not afraid to. David was not afraid to. He took God's opportunity and he showed forth God's glory manifestly by going forward and not being afraid, knowing, knowing, knowing that God was with him and knowing, knowing, knowing that God would work through him. When the lion comes, recognize it as God's opportunity, no matter how rough the exterior The very tabernacle of God was covered with badger skins and goat's hair. One would not think there would be any glory there. You see, David, he didn't look the part. He was ready. He had been out working with the sheep. He wasn't all prim and proper and slick back and dressed right. Was he? No. It was like there's badger skins covering what was inside of David. Just like badger skins and goat's hair was covering the ark. You know, God is very wise and he disguises himself and his vessels. And so much of the time, under badger skins and goat's hair, where people don't want to look at that. They don't see that as anything God can do or God can use. (laughs) Hallelujah. Well, the very tabernacle of God was covered with badger skins and goat's hair. One would not think there would be any glory there. And God did that on purpose. Because he knows people are so apt to what they see. And whatever they see, that's it. They can't see nothing past that. They can't see the spiritual or anything past that. Well, God did that on purpose. Do you know that? Because he's disguising his vessels. But David had the power of God within him and it manifested in the natural realm as well. He was not afraid. The Shekinah of God was manifest under that kind of covering, under the covering of badger skins and goat's hair, something that don't look real pretty. And I can tell you right now, that's exactly what God is doing in this hour. 
because the world is prone to want to see something pretty and prompt and important and known to the world but God is disguising just like he's always done through the ages may God open our eyes to see him whether in temptations trials dangers or misfortunes we need to see him in every every circumstance and see it even though it's a lion yeah it's a lion yeah it looks like a lion but hey it's God's opportunity God's opportunity to work amen Hallelujah.